Hoodoo is more than a business. It's more than magic folklore and getting what I want. Hoodoo has become my personal spiritual path. And since the supermoon of Thursday, August the 11th, I have visited the Walker Mill Park Trail here in Maryland, right close to where I live, multiple times because it is the most healing, the most positive sacred ground of our ancestors that I've ever experienced. This park used to be a 500 acre tobacco plantation from the 1700s. Our ancestors worked here. They lived here. They walked this area. Some of them probably tried to escape through this area. Some are probably buried here beneath the very trees that you're looking at. The spirit of this place is so therapeutic and soothing. It touches you at the soul level. The spirit of the ancestors is very strong here. So I've left many different offerings here amongst the trees throughout because giving back is more than just blowing cigar smoke and spitting whiskey everywhere. That's one way. But here, this is what I don't like about today's hoodoo. It's very selfish. We treat our ancestors like they're ATMs. We only contact them when we need something. Same with the Creator and the universe. Always asking and begging. But we, we keep taking but never give back. And I often ask myself, do we really love our ancestors like we say we do? Because it sure doesn't look like it. One thing I've learned is not to just be focused on asking and commanding all of the time. It's good just to give thanks, give appreciation, say thank you to the ancestors for all that they sacrificed, that they struggled, the legacies that they've given us, the strength, the spiritual tradition that's in our blood, to give thanks to them for that without you know, seeking something in return. In hoodoo, you must learn. You have to give in order to get.